Welcome to the ACO Box Studio. Andrew Cowell, Engineering Director from MWH. And Andrew um, is fresh from the British Water BIM Conference, uh, well, April anyway. And um, Andrew, perhaps you could tell us a little about what happened there. Yeah, um, well, thanks very much. The, the British Water BIM Conference was a conference that was put together um, by British Water in associ association with MWH. There are a number of conferences that focus on BIM, but they tend to be multi-sector. Um, we felt that we wanted to run a conference that focused really on the water industry and the water sector to see what BIM could bring forward for the water sector. And um, it was quite interesting to see uh, some of the things that came out of that uh, conference. Uh, very much BIM is associated with buildings, um, associated yes. with vertical infrastructure. Yes. But then when we start to look at uh, the water industry, uh, BIM principles can apply, but they are uh, applied in a slightly different way when one looks at uh, an infrastructure sector. And are there good examples of the industry adopting that sort of thinking, or is this um, ambition? Uh, I think a lot of it is, uh, is, is ambition at the moment. There are a number of some really good trial projects going on. Um, where the real benefit from BIM comes in an infrastructure organisation is when we look at asset lifecycle information management. So people tend to think about BIM and information modelling associated with the initial construction phase, yeah. but uh, the real benefit that comes out of, uh, of application of BIM is in the asset lifecycle information management that goes right through into the operations phase. So it helps to combine CapEx and OpEx and really plays into the Totex agenda, which is the agenda that's being very much driven by Ofwat uh, into the water industry. And is it readily embraced by the industry, the water industry, or is it slow in adoption? Uh, I think it'd be fair to say that um, the adoption is uh, in its early stages, so it is slow adoption, but as we're seeing more pressure on operating costs, energy costs, um, on maintenance, operation, capital maintenance, uh, the industry is recognising the value of having good information, be that asset condition information, be that asset performance information, which then allows informed decisions to be made about how we operate, maintain and upgrade those assets going forward. And do you see any um, obvious barriers? Have you seen clear barriers, people not having the technology, people not adopting the technology that is creating a problem in the the, the, the more holistic adoption of, of, of BIM? I think some of the things in the water industry which are could be seen as potential barriers is the water industry has a lot of legacy information which is uh, very often contained in, in uh, disparate systems. So I would say that one of the issues that the uh, industry has to contend with is the amount of legacy information that we've got. I would also say that one of the issues that we have to contend with is Quite often people think of BIM as a technology solution. Actually, BIM is as much about the people and the processes and changing the way that we deliver our services into the water sector as it is about a technology solution. We have the technology, it's, a, it's changing the culture and the way that the industry operates that's probably the biggest challenge that we face. So as we've been hearing today about a lot of the different infrastructure uh, projects that are going on, very exciting infrastructure projects, BIM is an essential part of that. Uh, it's an essential part in delivering it. It's an essential part of the whole innovation process. Yeah, I think BIM is very much a, a central part of, of delivery of projects. Uh, one of the main tenets of, of, of BIM is collaboration, collaboration across the industry. Right. Um, and that means owner operators working with designers and constructors, embracing the supply chain. And this is what I was talking about, changing the culture and the way that we operate in the industry. Uh, we have to collaborate much more to get the efficiencies that certainly are being looked for in the water sector through uh, the challenges that are placed on the water companies by the regulator. And by bringing those sectors together, the owner operators, designers, constructors and suppliers, we can deliver those efficiencies through a collaboration platform, which is what BIM is very much about collaboration and sharing information. Very interesting and we'll look with continued interest I'm sure through, um, through the years to come on, on a lot of these major projects. So Andrew thank you very much. Thank you.